Tor is a interesting and particularly well-designed system, but like any computer system, it has vulnerabilities. And a couple of years ago, Tor was actually attacked in a particularly successful way by some researchers at Carnegie Mellon University. And there's a whole interesting story about this that gets into research ethics and other issues because it's not clear exactly uh, why this was done and why they let this attack go on for so long. But let me talk a little bit about how, how it actually worked. Um, so, you know, what, what does Tor do? So Tor uses this large network of uh, computers or relays to uh, anonymize traffic on, uh, you know, when, when people are trying to keep their internet activities secret. So how it does that is I connect to a Tor node rather than to my destination, and then Tor sets up what's called a circuit. So a series of nodes within the Tor network that are involved in relaying that traffic um, before it reaches its final destination. And because of how the Tor protocol works, if enough of these circuits are active in the network at the same time, and there's enough of these nodes, that I can essentially disguise your traffic because you know, it's very difficult to figure out uh, that a particular packet that exits the Tor network where it came from, and that's the goal. So I set up the circuit within the network, and there could potentially be lots of different circuits active at the same time, that typically are, and those circuits, and this also has the effect of mixing up all the traffic within the Tor network itself. So if I had access, if I was monitoring one of these nodes, or even many of them, I can't figure out where packets are going uh, or where they're coming from, unless, I can control a large part of the Tor network. And this is what these attackers actually were able to do. So let's say that I have this number of nodes, but let's say that some of these start to be taken over by attackers. So the attacker takes uh, control of some percentage of the Tor network. Um, now, the, the, the researchers that did this essentially accomplished this by creating a bunch of nodes and having them join the Tor network. And over time, they built up a reputation within the network that they were trusted. But these nodes were actually colluding with each other. And, and what does that allow me to do? Well, if I have control over enough nodes within the Tor network, then for a particular circuit, there's some probability that I can see both the start of the circuit and the end of the circuit. I don't have to control all the nodes along it. That, that's not how this has to work, or at least it wasn't when, how it had to work when the, uh, when the people launched this particular attack. So as long as I control the entry point to the circuit and the exit point, as I did in this example, it doesn't matter that I don't control any of the other nodes. Because what the attackers did is they used this control over the circuit to inject a little bit of information. So on their entry nodes, they would modify the headers of the Tor protocol in a way that they could observe on the exit node. And so this piece of information now flows through the network. And if the attackers, so I, you know, let's put a little S on this packet. If the attackers then see that packet leave the node, leave the network, so if I happen to have both the start of the circuit and the end of the circuit, then I can connect this pack it with its destination. And that's exactly what I don't want to happen. Um, and so, you know, any distributed uh, system like this, particularly peer-to-peer uh, -peer systems, are vulnerable to these types of attacks where I try to take over large parts of the network, establish reputation, and frequently if I have control over enough nodes, then an attacker can, can sort of uh, launch an attack like this. Tor has since taken steps to uh, handle this type of attack, but in general, this category of attacks, which are called tra traffic confirmation attacks, so basically what I want to do is I want to confirm that you know uh, Alice or whoever is using this particular site are very very difficult to defend against from all different types of attacks. Um, so Tor not perfect. Uh, they've addressed this vulnerability. It's not the the uh, story was that this uh, vulnerability was open for a series of months, and so people that were using sort of the dark web and Tor to access various things during that time may have had some of their information uh, compromised. The people that launched this were researchers at CMU. Um, they don't seem to have had any real sort of uh, dark motive here, uh, although they've been uh, fairly, the way that they've approached uh, this within the Tor community has not generated uh, a lot of happiness among people that rely on Tor to keep their uh, activities private. So like any computer system, Tor has vulnerabilities um, and they can be exposed.